naira. We are not losing by doing four million naira. That I can tell you. We brought it to four million naira. Brought the other one that's business class from four million. The other one from one. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Plan B TV News. Now I understand why Nigerian or let's say Nigeria government are so much afraid of Igbo. One time ago, may I leave English aside. These people, they get swag. This airline came with another grand style. You know, recently they just launched a new airline that will go from Nigeria straight to London. And a lot of people are jubilating. And in this particular news I'm going to be showing you guys is that if you see the hair waiters, hair mistress, hair masters, hair server, even the hair pilot, hair passenger, they are dressing code as pack reaction in Nigeria's social space. I want you guys to watch this particular video. We'll be right back to do some messages here. Well, good morning to you viewers. Let's begin what's trending with the story of the moment. Nigeria's indigenous airline, Airpeace, which commenced London operations on March 30th, 2024. Many Nigerians across the globe have shown excitement over the airline's bold move in challenging the dominance of foreign carriers in the market. However, amidst the celebration, some Nigerians on social media have questioned the incorporation of a traditional Igbo attire, Ishiago, worn by the airline's cabin crew. Some critics voice concern over ethnic identity and tribalism. Others argue that as a privately owned business, Airpeace has the prerogative to represent its cultural roots. <laughs> Well, all right. I have a tweet by Rano Mercury, which will come up in a bit. But, you know, I mean, I think he did say something about uh, the airline incorporating this traditional attire, which has been there for years, I believe, yeah. since inception. They've yeah. been using this Isiago outfit. But let me just read it. Rano wrote, may God bless Alan Onyema of Airpeace. And whoever came up with the beautiful idea of using Ishiagu to design airpiece flight attendance uniform. I have flown on multiple airlines, and I know that airlines use the cultural outfit of their countries of origin as their air host and hostesses outfits. There is nothing wrong with it. Ethiopian airlines will not only clothe their stunningly beautiful air hostesses in Habisha chemis, they will even speak to you via their public address system, first in Amharic, before talking to you in English. Please be aware that there are over 70 ethnic groups with their own languages in Ethiopia. They cannot speak all. They choose Amharic. I flew with these air hostesses in the attached photo, and you can see that their headgear is unique. It reflects their country of origin. Not only do I support Airpeace's Ishiago uniform and pray for their success of the airline, but I also appeal to all my followers to patronize Airpeace in the spirit of Grow Naira by Niger, except they do not fly your route. I mean, I actually like that tweet, and you know that Renault Mokuri has always been pushing for Grow Nigeria. But I think Rufai, you did respond to that tweet, and I'll read no, Rufai's I tweet. And I don't know if it's that tweet, but to I the to the backlash, yeah, not to that tweet, to I the didn't. backlash, right? <laughs> Airpeace is flying to London as a national thing of pride, but Nigerians are talking about clothes. Why do some Nigerians hate Nigeria? Why do we? always like to pull each other down and i know yeah. that you were discussing this before i so, walked into yeah. the, yeah. the uh, studio and you know it's been trending on social and, media and but I'll go ahead and i'd like to clarify a lot yes. of things i think see whatever happened in the 60s between saldana awola war and zeke please we need to heal from all those things Whatever happened with Lancaster House stock, which I know was a very big turning point with the start of the problems and people being bored, we need to be able to heal. Whatever happened also in the Civil War, we need to be able to heal. This ethnic bigotry is too much. It will divide. It's dividing us already. Right. And that's why we can't collectively speak as one. What is wrong with wearing a siago? 
Oh, but these same bigots did not speak when they served Kilishi and Zubu on their flights. Really? Is this what we've become now? A man has gone ahead to make Nigeria proud. The attire is from Nigeria. We ought to be celebrating that. That's putting more money to our local manufacturing sector. The next thing, people are saying, why must it be Isiago? Because they have their own ethnic leanings. Must we always think like this? And I'm sorry for this country because, see, a lot of people will say these are just banters on Twitter, but you'll be shocked how tribalistic most of the elite class in this country are. Yeah. And for those in the elite class that are tribalistic, please watch yourself. It is time for you to heal those wounds. We will never continue this way. We can never get anything out of our life this way. Somebody prominently, Dr. Newton Jibuno, a very close friend, dear to me, like a father to me, gave me a, a, a culture, a material that, a is, yeah, that is indigenous yeah. to, you know, Delta Ibo yeah. area and everything. Yeah. And I wear that material with a lot of pride. Right. So it doesn't matter where you are from. I cannot be tribalistic. My half-sister is a Shakiri. I wear, I tie George, I tie uh, Iro. The truth is, let us look beyond all of this and celebrate the episode. Because you see, Dr. Bati, you were saying something yesterday that, oh, as he say most of these civil servants, as he tried to talk to them and everything, you'll be shocked that all the things Mr. Alan Oema is facing that he had not said yesterday, might just be because of tribal bigotry and people will say, hey, why is he doing right. all of this? That's and we do that right. over our own people. We right. even use foreigners to favor our own people. We need to stop. We need to heal. How long are we going to continue? The last election, see how polarized. We, we split Lagos along tribal lines. We did everything. When are we going to heal? Well, let me take some of the backlash so that you can really understand. This is from uh, Vala who wrote... Mr. Onyema, why? Let this be a one-off, please. We are all very happy at this milestone as a country, but let's just make this a thing. That is the Ishiago outfit. Then another person responds saying, man tries to garnish his business with African style. You are still complaining. Go and start up your own airline and tell them what to do. I mean, I did pick um, Reno's tweet because he posted, if we can pull up those pictures, he posted, you know, a picture uh, with other, uh, you know, air hostesses yeah. wearing their country's traditional outfit. And, uh, you know, we, we have images of, you know, other airlines that are, you know, uh, there you have it. Yeah. We have Emirates, we have yeah. Ethiopian Airlines, we have all of these air hostesses adorning their country's attire, and I don't understand why it should be a thing. Well, Dr. I, I, I think it's much ado about nothing. Yeah. You know, just his thumb in a teacup. I mean, I, I've seen that uh, uh, attire before. Yes. That uh, uniform worn by the crew. And it's beautiful. Yeah. It's pleasant to the eye. And I think the aesthetics of it is what is more important. Yes. So there's no ethnicity involved in uh, air travel in terms of you know, the way some people are talking about, oh, eh, because it is Isiago. Okay, if uh, tomorrow uh, Airpiece decides to change its uniform, it can even use, uh, they can use Ashoki. They can use uh, yeah. whatever from any part of Nigeria. Mr. Yema was uh, on this program yesterday. He made it clear that, look, Airpiece is a Nigerian brand. It's Nigerian, and it's promoting Nigerian. When you go to the counter to buy tickets, nobody asks you, are you Igbo, are you Yoruba, or are you uh, Aousa or Fulani? You know, it's a, it's a national brand providing service. And to the extent that, you know, that airline is also promoting our culture, food, uh, attire, you know, we shouldn't reduce it to village. Uh, too many people are so village. provincial, you know, in this country. Even people in high places, yeah. extremely provincial. And uh, you have taken this story from the Twitter. You know, a lot of ignorant people you know, who go on Twitter to go and say all kinds of things. Perhaps because uh, Elon Musk says uh, under his watch, X is a place where you can be free to just say what you say, what you like. Now, it's for people to be discerning. Yeah. Once you see somebody saying some nonsense that even a kindergarten will not come up with, you know, we shouldn't 
uh, yeah. you know, uh, 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 confer seriousness that, on on yeah. uh, absolute uh, ignorance right. and yeah. idiocy. Yes. You know that some people exhibit yeah. just because they have one miserable phone and uh, they have uh, the, the one thousand naira credit on their phones. <laughs> very important to educate the public and to yeah. have them understand and that's good that, yeah, yeah. That I think yeah. it is so important, important to have them understand that Nigeria is one. Well, one. And he is, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say something, that I, li I listened to Claire Kamanzi, yeah. who was the ex CEO of the Rwandan Development Board. And I'm saying this because part of the development was also Rwanda Air and how they were able to make such strides in such a short time. The first thing she said they had to do was the courage to heal. And that's to forgive. And I had to come back to what Rufai had said in terms of the fact that we don't actually understand the effect of the historical antecedents of the division along right. ethnic lines for Nigerians and the fact that a lot of people react from this place. And also that the political elite or the elite class also use this as a weapon when it favors them. And so it is quite sad to say that when we're celebrating the achievements, when we should say this is our own, he is first of all Nigerian before anything else. And the fact that we are able to showcase our national attire, right. our pride, our culture, that should be what we should be celebrating. And right. I'm glad that as many people as possible are coming out to condemn. And every single one of us have a responsibility to speak against such vitriol and to condemn speeches or comments like this that are along ethnic lines. We have to fight for the soul of this nation and the unity of this nation and stop looking at things. First of all, you see, first of all, oh, they should wear, they should have tight gilly on top of it so that it will satisfy every, then hold um, a stick just to show that it's, then the other minority groups will say, oh, you do not represent us, let us wear our culture. So I think it's very important that we first of all celebrate and not let that, destroy. yesterday when it was here, I was going to ask him how he felt about it, but I thought no. How he Let's, felt about, about the, the, you know, all the p negativity around the out outfits. But I thought it was too minor compared I, I to the. it was quite strange. Yeah, yeah. But compared to the to yeah, the to the, the, to the strides to the yeah. achievements. Let's not distract. And I want to focus on the fact that there are more people celebrating the fact that Nigerians are putting Nigeria on the global map and doing it excellently. That's what we should celebrate. Well said, Ayo. Well said. Well, congratulations, FP. If you know you love Igbo people, no, let me change this cap. Sha 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 Igbo konu he. Sha 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 Igbo konu he. Sha sha Igbo konu he he. To be sincere, Igbo, I don't know. I'm not saying Biafra, and they are still the same. These guys are good. Ever since this piece airline came out, you know, this guy has been so supportive to Nigeria. Though I've not yet booked the local flights, neither the international flights. But whatever it is, I'm giving it to this piece airline for breaking that yoke. You know, Nigeria literally don't have any international airline. But Peace Airline have broke that yoke and is creating a lot of saga. I wish maybe the Federal could just do something about it now. You know, them seeing Ibo progressing like this is a big threat to the Nigeria. I'm not saying to just the Federal, to even to the Yoruba. They don't want to see. Uh, I'm giving this to okay. Let's watch this part. Anyway, let's watch this particular video of how the peace airline himself uh, decided to explain how they gained this progress and why they decided to do this. Normally, when you start uh, a new destination on your inaugural flight, when coming back, you may have a lot of people going in, but when coming back, you might fly empty yeah. on the first day, you might fly less than 10% of the capacity of the aircraft. But that's not the, that wasn't the case here. Our flights are already sold out into over a month. Coming, coming into, in fact, sometimes we block seats. We block sales. So Nigerians have embraced this. The Nigerians are happy. It's as if some kind of burden has been lifted off their shoulders. A situation where Nigerians were paying, my own staff paid, Tony paid 15 million naira on business class for a six hour flight to the UK. Some, some people paid 17 million. Then because some people couldn't pay, Nigerians were going to South Africa, fly six hours to South Africa, come from there over, fly Nigeria Express to go to London, another nine or 10 hours just to get a cheaper fare. Nigerians were going to Morocco, Egypt, 
Qatar, eight hours to Qatar. Layover about three hours. You do another eight hours to the UK just to get something cheaper. Then if you want to fly uh, direct, it's a different ball game. The humongous fare is, uh, was unbearable for them. When we came on stream, and this is why we say support your indigenous operators. They will do well. When we came, and the only ones that can save the country. When we came in, what we did was, assuming we slashed the 15 million to 10 million, people would say clap for us. But no, we brought it to where it belonged. We brought it down to 4 million naira. We are not losing by doing 4 million naira. That I can tell you. We brought it to 4 million naira, brought the other one, that's business class, from 4 million, the other one from 1 1.2, and at the same time giving students rebate. So, immediately, the same airlines that we are giving dollar as an excuse for the fleecing of my country came down within 24 hours. Epis distorted the market. All of them started coming down within 24 hours. Started begging people, doing social media, brands all over the place, and brought their affairs from 15, 17 million to 5 million. Now even begging people to come on. So Nigerians embraced Epis. Yesterday at the airport, airport so I, met, I met someone who told me, look, and then God will bless you. Look at my family of six. I had to cancel my flights with one of the direct carriers. With all the money they subtracted from my cancellation, I still made gain flying APIs. What I would have used in flying two members of my family, I'm using it to fly six members of the family. Thanks to you. That even now, if I want to go back to those carriers to fly, it has become far cheaper. So, Nigeria, when you say, what has it been like? Yeah. Right from the day we announced our, we published our affairs, even that inaugural flight got sold out within days. Got sold out within days. And even up to September. So the traffic is there. However, the last 48 hours has not been easy. First of all, you are told by Gatwick Airport to deposit uh, 3 million or two point something million pounds before you start. For goodness sake, those British, is British, Airways, British Airways and Virgin, are they paying that amount of money to Nigerian airport as security deposit? And when you ask them, I say, okay, when are we going to get this money back? And they will tell you, no, until you stop flying to Gatwick, until you stop, stop flying. So for the rest of your life, you put there. So we started negotiation, but they brought it down to some level. The fact is that all the ground handling, when they want to deal with you, they use everybody around you. The ground handling companies, you must pay this and that, a security deposit. Catering, 740,000 pounds, that's over 1.6 billion. A security deposit that they will keep forever. It's not as if they'll be drawing down from the money. I've never seen such a thing before, and they don't do it to other people. That's the truth. So they let all this, in fact, on our inaugural flight out of London, we were given a particular place for for check-in for the past one month we knew this would be our check-in that was where the trainings we had done everything done then a few days to 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 the inaugural flight out of london you changed it and gave us a place where the carousel was not working on our first day we left this country we, we wanted to make sure we post 100 percent not 90 on time departure, going to London and coming back. On the first day out of Nigeria, with all the fanfare at the airport, we didn't delay our flight. We went right before time. And we arrived UK 20 minutes before, before time. But the check-in process was cumbersome because you have to, they put us in a place where you have to check in somebody, then carry the load manually to go and drop in another place, they made us pass through all this. The next thing, your boarding gate, they say, oh, the system um, has broken down. It's not working again. All those antics, all those antics. If they don't use them, they use the ground. Uh, to me, they should allow us be. Mm. That's the truth. But these are unspoken. Mm -hmm. These are unspoken. Mm. Uh, you might expect more. They can even use your, your catering. Okay. So it doesn't okay. end there, but it's been good. We are trying to roughen it out with. Okay. Uh,
anyway, as a Nigeria, what do you guys think about peace line? What do you think about the progress, the international uh, flights, and the, the protocol that it breaks? You observe the protocols and it breaks its first time after many years. Nigeria finally have, not for Nigeria, I mean peace airline as a Nigerian, having international headline. That is a good news for me. So what do you guys think? Anyway, comment your thoughts in the comment section. What do you guys think about the headline dressing code, you know, putting on somehow Ibu attire? Like, okay, the Odogu, the Conqueror, the Lion, the Zion is here. Is this Zion? The Igbo people is here. I don't know. Zebu, Zebu. How would Nigeria feel right now? You know, Igbo, the same Biafra, you don't want it to come. Whenever you took flights, you see a person with, like us with red cap and say, Can you call the, all the man? If I may be peace and lie, eh? I will, if you bought my flight, I will, I will not say, <clears throat> Can you call the other man? Only in the other people, only in the other people, the only music you'll be hearing is, in, That was the only music you'll be hearing inside the flight. <laughs> I will literally make you. I colonize you to become Igbo before the flight la landed. Anyway, I love you guys. Please comment your thoughts about this commercial airline. Comment your thoughts about the international airline as well. Comment your thoughts about the peace airline and the things they have been doing in Nigeria. Though there are some people who make a review about uh, its flight within the Nigeria, traveling from Lagos to other parts of Nigeria from Abuja. Some people say some certain things, but I can't just put it here. But what does this guy think? Because I really don't have personal experience with the local flight or the international flight. But for those of you that have booked the flights, comment what is your experience with the flight. Comment it in the comment section. Remember, we love you. God love you more. If you love us, the only way you can show it is to like this video, share it to all your platform. Above all, please subscribe. If you subscribe, this is the only way you can show your love to us. Thank you very much. Until we meet again. Peace out. Please subscribe. Oh, hey, I'm saying it again. All oh, my family, all oh, my people, if you know you're Igbo, Yoruba, oh, I love you all. Like, I love you from the bottom of my heart. Not the only Igbo I love you. I'm for sure this can. I love you all. Please subscribe. Subscribe. I beg of you. Take me to 100,000. I know you can do it. I love you guys. I'm not sentimental. I love everybody equally. But God love you more. Subscribe and peace out.